who had just arrived at this very unusual site with the name Crucifisso. Um, this is very close to the Monte Accoli Pyramid, the ziggurat structure, which we visited on the last trip here. But this is amazing. We've got hypogeum tombs that go back to the Aziri culture, or even earlier. And what else we've got, which is the most interesting aspect of this site, and it's probably the most amazing thing I've seen here in Sardinia, is it's got a, about a kilometre of cart ruts. Now these, you can see some examples just behind me next to the tomb, and these are carved out of solid rock. Um, these are going for, I've just flown the drone, these goes on, go on for at least a kilometre, and they're really thick, and they go crisscross, they're like, sort of like you've been driving tracks across. The, the rock and somehow carving out the rock. Now why they would do this we don't know, but we know in Malta and Gozo and a few other places around Europe, just a few scattered places, we have fine examples of these, the most famous being Clapham Junction in Malta, named after the, uh, uh, the train station in London. But the fact that here in Sardinia does really raise questions about the age of these sites, because in Malta, the sites are much, much older. They go back to 5,000 BC and beyond. And so we must consider that with the hypogeums, with the cart ruts, and with some of the styling of the reliefs here in Sardinia, there could well be a connection with very, very ancient prehistoric Malta. So I'm just standing here at the very entrance to, this is the entrance here with a red car, and you can just see these cart ruts all over here leading to the main hypogeum. Now these really are classic cart ruts like we find in Malta. I'm just going to walk along them. I want to keep this as smooth as I can so you get some idea of what they look like. And you could just compare these to Malta. They are literally exactly the same. There's literally no difference. We have a kind of pool, like a libation area cut out here. And cart ruts surrounding this entire hypogeum. What's really interesting is this like monolith which is like a relief carving out of solid rock, like marking the omphalus, the center, the axis mundi of this site. And we have chambers all around it. Now there's not much has been written about this particular site, but these chambers are much bigger than other ones we've looked at. And you can just see the, the entrances here with the great monolith sitting here in the center. You can actually see inside this chamber here, this is the first one on the left. Now there could be carvings in here, but these are so worn, you can't really see them. It's like a face on there. Let me move to the next one. This is more of a sloped roof and it actually joins. You see that little hole there? Oh, little doorway. That's chamber two, now this is chamber three, not much left of that one. Now you can see these are much more spacious, they're obviously still very low, but you can see the carved doorway there leading through to yet another chamber. And these go on for probably 500 meters, some of these, going across this entire landscape where the cart ruts are. Again, we have another quite square, oblong type chamber. Can't see any carvings in it. There's some kind of markings on the wall there. Here's one chamber that leads through to another chamber. So it's got a newspaper in there. Must be where they chill out, the workers here. So we have the cart ruts coming all along this way, all the way over there. And then just bisecting it, we have this tomb. Absolutely interesting. Uh, if you just get a bit closer, this is a classic hypogeum. It 
been the, there's another tomb over there that bis bisects it as well. So we have cart ruts coming all the way down here. You can just see my shadow there. Right through the tomb. That is very strange. So was it part of a ceremonial pathway? Like in the fairy lines or something? Absolutely mind blowing. So here we have some of the most impressive cart ruts I've ever seen. Before yesterday, I didn't even know these existed in Sardinia, but we did some research and found out that not only are these possibly the only cart ruts in Sardinia, they're also some of the longest and most deepest cut I've ever seen. And I've been to Malta, Gozo, and seen photographs in other places. But right along them, unlike in Malta, you have these Domus de Janus cut out. You have these elongated slope going down into a hypogeum, actually like bisecting at an angle the cart ruts themselves, which is quite unusual. And I've never seen that before, especially in Malta, but here it's all over the place. This is just the first section of the cart ruts. They go on for at least another 500 meters to a kilometer. And you'll be able to see that with the aerial footage. We have cart ruts coming all the way down here and then just boom another little tomb going straight down hypogeum style just carved out of the solid rock i mean clearly they could work with so carving out solid rock but they really were good at it i mean you just see a side there So we've just walked about maybe 40 meters just into the alignment of the cart ruts and we just found another major tomb here. So I'm just going to have a look in here because this looks like quite a large entrance, someone of my size should be able to get in. I've already seen snakes here so it's a little disconcerting. Large. Look at this. So this is one of the larger hypogeums. And it has a stone here as well. It could be carvings here. It's really difficult to see. Loads of bugs everywhere. No one's been here for a while. Very interesting nonetheless. So the cart ruts continue just here. But look at these. These are very impressive. Just like being a Malta, we have straight ones. They go along dead straight. Then we have areas just up there, you see, where they cross over. So this is much like we find in Malta. It's almost like a car track. You know, that's why they call cart ruts, because people, people think they have some kind of carts were somehow cutting into the stone. And then continue all the way up, right up until probably another three or 400 meters from this particular spot. This is interesting. It's like they've kind of cut this out. It's like a mini Domus de Janus with a little head there. It's almost like a little serpent. You see that? It's like a serpent cut out like a cart rut. How interesting. This is completely off the beaten path. There's no tourists here. This is not a tourist site. It's just next to a tarmac or something refinery. And it's one of the most important sites in Sardinia, in my opinion. Just look how deep these are. These are really deep cut, at least a foot into the ground. Perfectly carved. And then they just continue past these bushes and off into the distance once more. Just this stretch here I'm on now is about, what, 30, 40 meters long. Just from over there, all the way down here. So deep, so wide. What on earth were these used for? It's one of the big mysteries of the ancient Mediterranean world. And just off the alignment of cart ruts, just over to the left, we have more tombs. We have this one here, this hypogeum. Again, beautifully cut out of solid rock. And it goes into the chamber. If there's any 
carpets now. Let's see, can we see any carpets? There's more chambers over there. Another entrance there. So that's, that's, that actually looks like red ochre on the back wall. So we have the massive cart ruts just here. These are just these are just blowing me away. Uh, they really shouldn't be here. There's supposed to be no connection with ancient Malta, but maybe there is. They go on and on and on all the way down here. And this goes deep into a hypogeum, which, which you can see here. You can see all these different carvings of this, uh, these rock cut tombs. It really is quite impressive. I mean, just look at this. This is not on any tourist map. This is like unheard of. So we have chambers going in here as well. Oh my God. Here is the bull symbols, which I've been looking for. Fantastic. So here we have the most important hypogeum at this site with the two beautifully carved bull heads, which are very much the shape of the giant's tombs from the Bronze Age Nuragic culture. Well, you can just hear the echo in here. It's really echoing. So this could have been an acoustic chamber, but behind me is the real reason we're here. We didn't realize how many cart ruts there would be, but look at these incredible bull carvings, extremely reminiscent of the shape, the layout of the giant's tombs. So that's looking out of the tomb there, and just on the right hand wall are the beautiful designed bull carvings in perfect relief, still in very good condition. You can hear that echo. It just continues, so that could be another purpose of these tombs, of these rock cut hypogeums. Much like we find in Malta with tests that were carried out, the Hal Safini hypogeum. Uh, there by Paul Devereaux and his archaeoacoustics team. I wonder if these have similar principles. And with the cart ruts here, and with the style and design so similar to ancient Malta, we have to question were the same builders involved. <laughs>